Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul and a swatch video of the LA Splash lip liquid lipsticks and I have a few of them as you can see and I just wanted to run down the line and tell you which colors I got and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go into swatching them on my lips so I thought I'd do a little something different ish so yeah bear with me this is all new to me the color I have on my lips is innocent vixen it's a gorgeous simple nude it is just nude there's no pink in it nothing it's just nude it is gorgeous so this one I'm not gonna swatch but I will zoom in if you want so that's innocent vixen I love the name um, I'm not wearing a lip liner with this normally I do wear lip liners with my um, liquid lipsticks but that's pretty much it the next color I got I actually got two of these and it's the shade ghoulish it is a nice like nude gray it is gorgeous and I'm sure if you guys are interested in LA Splash you probably have seen their Instagram and ghoulish is very very popular so I picked up two but yes this um, one is a nice grayish nude the next color now these are the lip coutures if I didn't if I forgot to mention and they all have like um, a different scent to me and I'll explain that when I swatch them because that's when I'll notice them the most um this one is love good this is actually one of my other favorites innocent victim ghoulish actually they're all my favorites <laughs> but this one's actually one of my favorites when I want that perfect nudie pink I don't wear bright um, not bright. I don't wear like regular pink lipsticks. I wear either vibrant pinks or muted down nudie mauve pink lips. So I don't know if that makes sense. But this one is perfect and you will see it swatch. The next color I have is Latte Confessions. And this one is more of a, I don't know. I want to say this is a brown tone mauve, if that makes sense. It is really pretty. It is just perfection. I like it and I think it's a dupe for one of the Lime Crime lipsticks as well as Ghoulish. I don't have either of them, but you know, that's what I heard. So the next color I got is another, I got a few lip coutures. That's that's actually kind of like my favorite formulation. Um, I feel like these are softer than any of their other lip stains. But anyway, this one is Bellatrix. Gorgeous. And I got the 50% extra bottle, so I'm like not even complaining. Bellatrix is a gorgeous blue. Gorgeous. It's a gorgeous blue, almost like purple. I don't know. It's a unique shade. I actually really like it. The next color I got, I should have done this one first, is Untamed. I wore this the other day. This is a vampy gorgeous maroon like it's got the brown undertones but it's that deep red it goes great with my crazy red hair it just it just makes me feel like vamp straight up sexy and vamp and i love this color i love colors like this so untamed is another good one another one this is a unique shade as well it's called vindictive and this is just a blue but with like a gray undertone. Um, sometimes when I take pictures of it, it looks like bright teal, but that's not really the case. It is the same exact color. It does kind of uh, lighten a little bit once you put it on the lips. Um, it's all depending if I use a lip liner under it or not. But this is like a very unique shade. It's not something I wear every day, but I do like it for fun. This one is Summer Bliss. This is gorgeous. This goes on a little... I want to say a little blotchy um, two layers is good enough two very thin layers because you don't want it to start crusting up but it is so pretty it is a perfect coral pink like you want that vibrant highlighty coral pinky color this is it summer bliss it's perfection so out of the smitten lip tints I picked up criminal this is a gorgeous purple I wear it all the time she wore this to work a couple nights ago Per request, it was requested that I put on some purple lips, so I did, and she was so excited, and everyone was like, girl, you can wear anything, and I was like, you can wear anything you want, just rock it. It don't matter what anybody else thinks, and people will see that, and they'll like it on you because it looks cool. Perfect purple, awesome, awesome lipstick. Criminal, I like the name. <laughs> so the other one I got is Inflamed. I wanted this one so bad. And it was sold out just like ghoulish was so I ended up getting inflamed it's like the perfect red for me it is not um, orangey tone it's more on the blue based red I want to say 
I don't know. And it does have a little bit of sparkle in the bottle. I noticed that. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't see it on the lips too much, but I do see it in the bottle. So, that's pretty cool. So, I picked up 10 of these bad boys. Um, some of them are smitten lip tints, and most of them are lip coutures, or they were bottled up in their lip coutures. I got 10 of them. I love the formulation, and I think they're overall really great. They're inexpensive compared to paying $18 to $22 for a lip stain. I think these are magnificent. I'm sure you can find something close, or if not an exact dupe to most of these well-known brands. Perfection. And I hope they keep making them, and I hope that they're successful. They're like $12. Or $11 I mean compared to spending the 18 to 20 dollars like to 22 dollars sometimes I think the steel ones are 22 dollars yeah this is good this is very good anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take these lips off this is innocent Vic vixen which I already showed you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all the other ones so I'm gonna be using my Smith's rosebud lip thingy rosebud salve I don't know it just sounds awful and it's that right here. And I pretty much just take it and apply it. These do not come off very easily at all. Um, people use olive oil to take these off. Um, any oil-based products. This has castor oil in it or something like that. Mm, cottonseed oil. Petroleum cottonseed oil and some sort of trade secret perfume. They didn't even touch it. I'm gonna try with my uh, one of my good friends, Charlotte. Um, she makes lip balms, and I'm gonna try it with hers because I have tried it with hers. I just don't remember if I tried it with these. Don't mind me, Charlotte. You need to pack this stuff up in a in a tin and use this as a lip stain remover. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Ghoulish. This is gonna be ooh. This one's ghoulish. Next shade is Love Good. I love it. I think I've recommended it to quite a few people that have asked me what kind of lip stains are good. I said, you know what, just to start you off, start with Love Good. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Lolita from the Kat Von D collection, but just, I guess, a little bit different. I don't know. I'm a lipstick hoarder, so yeah, they all look different to me. So, yes, this is it. Charlotte, you are a godsend. These things are amazing. I keep telling you, just package these up in a tin so I can, um, hell. Mm. Yes, yes, see? Like, this works. <laughs> the next one is Latte Confessions. It's absolutely gorgeous as well. And we'll just apply this. This is a My Lips But Better shade. This is Latte Confession. It is more of a true mauve with some pink reddish undertone. And it is really pretty. This is also a very good everyday lip stain or liquid lipstick. And it is also one of my favorites. I don't think none of them are on the bad list. I love all of these. So this is Latte Confessions, which I should know that by now. Get into the brighter colors. This one is Summer Bliss. Absolutely love this one too. Um, this applicator is different, so I don't know if the regular um, lip couture bottles come with the different doe foot applicator, but I like it nonetheless. This is Summer Bliss. It is absolutely gorgeous and vibrant, and I hope that my camera's capturing it. On my viewfinder, it looks really bright. In person, it looks even more bright. This is just one quick layer of it. Um, of course, it's a little messy, so I apologize. But I just want you guys to see like the color of it. It is so vibrant. And if you put a lip liner under it as a base, this will go on smoothly because I've put on like a really baby pink or like almost a nude color under my lips, kind of like as a base. And it goes on not as streaky and it just is perfect. And this is Summer Bliss. Is beauty moving on to the red it is inflamed and this one is a smitten lip tint it comes with a regular doe foot applicator this is just my perfect red I absolutely love this color this is not one of my best swatches but this is inflamed it's absolutely gorgeous it is a perfect 
red. It is not orange. It is not like blue based or pinky red. It is red, honey. It is red and I absolutely love it. And I think I said that for all of them. So this one is Untamed. It is a perfect maroon red. I mentioned that before. It is very vampy to me. I love it. So this one's Untamed. It is like my vampy brown maroon color. Absolutely gorgeous. It goes great with this hair of mine, honey. And of course, a nice wing and you're good to go. And again, this one is Untamed. So three more to go. This one is Criminal and this one is a Smitten Lip Tint, which are just as great. I feel like the formula on these have a, a little bit stronger scent, almost like chemical but they dry just as quickly but i feel like these don't last as long on me as the lip coutures but that's just me so let's just get to swatching look at, uh look at that so another not so great swatch but this is criminal i absolutely love this and i wear it all the time a lot more than i thought i would but yeah this is criminal Okay, so the next one is Vindictive. This is just a crazy color. It's not something that I would normally gravitate to, but it is pretty awesome. <gasps> Here it goes. So this is Vindictive. It does kind of look like a, like a blue teal with gray undertone. And in certain lightings, it looks more teal. In other lighting, it looks just more blue-gray. But I just nonetheless love this color. It is so different, and it's unlike anything I've ever owned and nothing that's in my collection. So I'm happy I added this to it. So this is Vindictive. And last but not least, it is the Piece of Resistance, Bellatrix, absolutely gorgeous. I've been eyeballing this one since I found Ghoulish, and I love it. And this is the last swatch, and my lips will be so thankful. Ah, oh, yes. And this is Bellatrix. It is a gorgeous, vampy purple with almost like a blue undertone to it. I absolutely love this. It is quick drying. I just, it's phenomenal. And this is Bellatrix. So guys, that's pretty much it for my lip swatches. My lips are burning, but these are pretty much all of the LA Splash lip liquid lipsticks that I own. I own 10 of them, plus one extra ghoulish because, you know, I don't want to run out of that one. Um, the one I have on my lips right now is fully dried, and it is Bellatrix. Um, it does... Just, it's so different and I absolutely love these. Um, they just really went out of the box with colors and just to suit everyone's needs from nudes to pinks to reds to purples. So, and blues and black and maroons. Absolutely love these. Um, it's the best investment I made as far as liquid lipsticks go. I do love my Kat Von D ones, but the Lip Coutures are actually my favorite formulation. I'm dropping them over here. The Lip Coutures are actually my favorite formulation. I feel like they're not more pigmented, but the formula is a little bit thicker so that it just glides on in one coat. I don't have to re-dip the wand. It's just the formulation of the Lip Coutures are actually my favorite. They feel a little bit more cushiony and less drying on the lips, even though they're pretty drying. And as you can see, kiss test, nothing. No transfer, absolutely love these. Um, uh, I do like the lip smittens as well. They're a little bit thinner in consistency, so I feel that if you were to layer them with like more than one layer, they will start cracking and peeling from like the wet part of your lip per se. Kind of like how most lip stains separate from the center of the lip, at least to me. But yes, the, um, the smitten lip tints are a little bit thinner in consistency, but they're just as pigmented. The only one I ever had an issue with was with Summer Bliss. This one just comes off a little patchy, so I do have to make sure I use a base under, whether it be a lip liner or whatever, but this is a gorgeous, vibrant color, and it doesn't even crack on me like that. I absolutely love it, so I can do two coats of this, two thin coats of this and get the coverage that I need. Um, I even applied this with a lip brush and I found that I got better results with a lip brush. So 
I love this. I love all of the colors. Um, I wanted to do this video for a while, but I keep procrastinating because I knew my lips were going to be hurting. And even though it's only 10 of them, my lips are burning. So I will leave their website link down below. Okay, let me know if you guys have tried this brand. Which color was your favorite that was swatched? I really hope that the colors transferred true to color on the camera because these are fantastic. Like right now, this looks like a perfect, perfect like royal purple blue. If that makes sense like it's just gorgeousness and it makes my teeth look white <laughs> but anyway guys i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye